Oh, hey, hello boys and girls. It is an absolutely beautiful summer evening. It's a perfect night for a bonfire. And what's better than a bonfire than roasting marshmallows and making s'mores? Of course, you know what s'mores are, right? Graham crackers and chocolate and a roasted marshmallow. You sandwich all together. It's ooey and gooey and sweet and chocolatey and crunchy and oh, oh, oh it's so good. But it's a perfect night for a bonfire to be with family and friends and roast marshmallows and make s'mores. Did you know that s'mores can be helpful in understanding a bit more about God and who God is? Well, this Sunday is a special Sunday called Trinity Sunday, Holy Trinity Sunday, where we hear more about God, the one God, as a triune God, like a triangle. There's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we have one God, but we experience God as Father, Son, and a Holy Spirit. And in our reading today from the Bible, from Matthew chapter 28, Jesus tells his disciples to go into the world and teach everyone about him and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In fact, you were baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I was too. And Gary was too. In fact, we all were. So we have one God, but we experience God in three persons. As a Father, a Son, and the Holy Spirit. That can be kind of confusing sometimes. The idea of one God, but three persons. Well, that's where our s'mores are kind of handy in helping us understand what does it mean to have a triune God. Now, it's not perfect, but it gets a kind of close about who God is. Let me give you an example. So a s'more has got graham crackers and marshmallows and chocolate, right? Now, if all we have is a graham cracker, oh, that's really good. But it's not a s'more. And if I have chocolate, oh, that's really good too. But it's not a s'more. If I have a marshmallow, oh, that's really good too. But all by itself, it's not a s'more. Now, maybe I have a marshmallow and a graham cracker. That's really, really good. But it's not a s'more. Or maybe I have a graham cracker and some chocolate. Oh. That's really good too. But it's not a s'more. A s'more puts all three things together. You need to have graham crackers, chocolate. Hi, oh, Aaron just made me a toasted marshmallow. It's nice and hot. And now, and they all start melting together. The chocolate melts into the marshmallow, and the marshmallow gets into the graham cracker. And now, oh yeah, mm. that is a s'more. So just a graham cracker, a chocolate, a marshmallow by itself doesn't make it a s'more. It's so an all three kind of get mixed together that it becomes a s'more. That's really good. And the same thing is true of God. If we just had the Father, well, that wouldn't be God. And if we just had the Son, that's not God either. If we had just the Holy Spirit, well, that wouldn't be God. It's that God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit share their lives together, kind of all mixed together. They love each other and they mix in. That's what makes God, God. Right? So a s'more has got the graham cracker, the chocolate, and the marshmallow mixed together, and that's what makes a s'more a s'more. And God being Father, Son, Holy Spirit together in that relationship, that makes God, God. And that's important for us because God is relational in God's self, and we get to share in God's life too, and his love. And not only that, we get to share that with others. And that's why we baptize in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So right now, I'm going to read that story for you from Matthew chapter 28. 
The Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 28, where Jesus gives the Great Commission. So the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain Jesus had told them to meet him there. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came up and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. So Jesus told his disciples to go and baptize the nations in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and be a share in God's life and his love for today and forever. So let's pray. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for giving us everything that we need and we get to share in your life and your love and we get to share with one another as well. And we love you. Amen. So until I see you again, did you eat it? He ate my s'more. Well, <laughs> since you guys can't be here, tell you what, I'll make a s'more for you and I'll even eat it for you too. God's peace.